We're talking about the benefits of meditation, how you can get started at home. We're also talking about his new book. It's called Success Through Stillness, uh, welcoming media mogul Russell Simmons to the welcome, show. Welcome, welcome. All right, so right out of the gate, I mean, we're, we're talking big name dropping, and you're talking about Ellen and Oprah involved in this. Let's back up, though. Where did it start for you? Oh, for me? Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, I, I kind of <laughs> want to, this story I don't like telling, but I went to class, yoga class, over 20 years ago. Uh, with my buddy Bobby Shriver, and that's that was the beginning. Bobby of Shriver, me. you know Bobby, right? Yeah. But I know okay. you. You know we know <laughs> yeah, Bobby. Yeah, right? okay. So he we went to class. It was 58 girls and two guys. There was a gay guy somewhere in the class. I didn't meet him, <laughs> but I know that. But there was all women and so just us. So you went to find some look. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Right. That makes sense. Makes sense. And then, sure. but anyway, after the first class, I was so high and happy, right? Yeah. You know, because I was open and awake, and I had this me this thing in my head that. Yeah. I want to forget everything. I'm going to lose all my businesses. I'm going to lose all my, you know, investments because I was, for a moment, I had freedom. And I used to think that the anxiety drove me. But instead of the anxiety driving me, it was always the seconds of stillness that made me creative or happy or productive. And I didn't know that. So at first class, I was amazed, you know. And, and, and then right shortly after that, I became a meditator. You achieved that in one class? Well, yeah, you get high. Everybody goes to a physical, a real aggressive physical class and... If you smile and breathe, as they instruct you to, right? Yeah. Well, you, you come can, out, you're high, right? You're, there's a moment, and you have like lots of moments. But it's the serotonin or something in your brain that changes. But, yeah, Isn't but it you, that gives you that that high. That, absolutely. Yeah. Just in any, you may play basketball. The moment you feel like you're in the zone, oh, yeah. the or you're in a car accident, everything moves slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been that, right? Yeah, yeah. This idea of this kind of stillness, this kind of clarity comes when the future and the past is gone, and the seconds of stillness are the only seconds you have of any happiness. The only time you can be creative is in, in the present, not, yeah. you know, in the future or the past. And so this is the reason we meditate, by the way. This is the greatest uh, tool known to man for thousands of years. It's kind of a lost art in a way. This idea of sitting and letting your mind settle. How do you do that, though? Because there's so much. It doesn't happen right away, though. So how do, how do you it's create the... It's funny how simple it is. You know, okay, I, so I, my, book, my, my, yeah, my book is very simple, but it's because the practice is simple. The one thing you need to be a good meditator is a bit of patience. So I'm if, out. if you, I'm out. I'm uh, out. No, my name is Rush, though. It's my nickname. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a bit of patience does it all. If you sit, and and what I teach is a mantra-based meditation. It's like what we give to the kids. We've had hundreds. What does that mean? Hundreds of thousands of kids across this country are doing mantra-based meditations. It, so you repeat a mantra to yourself. Say, if I gave a mass mantra to everyone, it would be rum like a vibration, not like alcohol. Rum. Say rum. Yeah, rum. Say it to yourself. Rum. To yourself. To yourself. There you go. Now you're sitting, you're saying rum to yourself, right? You're sitting, and then the mind's gonna go crazy. It's gonna be like, I'm not gonna meditate. I don't care what you say. Let's go to the refrigerator. Let's go here, let's go there. The mind's gonna be talking to you, right? But you have your alarm set for 20 minutes. So you're sitting, your mind's going crazy, and you're watching these thoughts go crazy. And before you know it, if you're repeating your mantra, and even if you lose your mantra to a thought, if you're sitting, the nervous system calms, and so goes the mind. So in three or four or five minutes, you'll say, oh, my God, I'm meditating. <laughs> and when that happens, your mind will go crazy a little more, and then it will transcend the thoughts even more. So the practice of meditation requires just a bit of patience and a little faith. It always settles for everyone. I meditate with my children every morning. Uh, one's 11, one's 14. They both go to the school for the gifted. I, Credit their mother, not meditation, but but a little oh, bit of meditation. Yeah, they have a little bit of your I better brain credit as well. Mother, right. <laughs> yeah. But but more than that is that they, my daughter was meditating at eight, and she's now eleven. And the other one from nine, and now she's fourteen. They sit and they let the thoughts settle, and so do kids all over this country. And they, and the, the results are: first, your nervous system calms, then your immune system boosts, then your brain functionality grows dramatically. You can see on a scanner the gray matter in the brain growing in six weeks of meditation, there's so much research, so much research on the physical benefits sure. to lower meditation. lower your blood pressure? Too? Lowers your blood pressure and increases brain functionality. And you can only be good in the moment. You can be thoughtful and present and awake. That's how you do good. That's how you make money later is by being good today. So you thought about writing this book while you were meditating? Uh, <laughs> thoughts come and go. Yeah. My most creative thoughts come in, and all of us, any creative thought we have is in a second of presence. So it can only happen when you're present, when you're in the future, and when your mind is fluctuating, it's the cause of all suffering. But when your mind is settled, 
the cause of all happiness. Can and it's that simple. It's written yeah. in every scripture and taught by every uh, great prophet. Mm -hmm. So it's a simple idea, but it seems that people from all over the world who spoke different languages, with different colors, promoted the same idea to be still and know. Right. Right? right. So it's a very simple idea, and I, and I want to give but it to everyone. May I ask you, though, because you said you went to a yoga class first. There's a difference between yoga and then, is there a difference between yoga and just meditation? Well, I know yoga has eight parts, okay. right? And one part is meditation, which is the most important part, the seventh of the eight parts. Yeah. The eighth part is this idea of enlightenment, Christ consciousness, nirvana for Buddhists, taqwa for Muslims, samadhi for yogis, this idea of yoga. But the seventh idea before realizing yoga is meditation. And the other stuff in yoga, the physical practice is you smile and breathe in difficult poses. It's part of your practice to quiet your mind. Let me All the work is to quiet your mind. Do you, do you still work out with Bobby Shriver? Because he's like a yogi. He's like a master at this now. Well, he and yeah. I have been going to well, class for over 20 years together. Yeah, okay, because yeah. he's, like, he's very bendy. But <laughs> I mean, he wraps himself up oh, like wait, a pretzel. You, you said going to class. Uh, you are working with class in a different way with students. Well, yeah, that's, that to me, what I want to do is I want to get Rahm Emanuel and I want to get his chancellor and I want to bring in all, we do this all over the country. We bring in all the neuroscientists and all the professors and all the educators who have experience with their schools and transform their schools, put them all in this big auditorium and we bring the schools, uh, the, depending on what, like, if we're in, in San Francisco, which we did, or, yeah. or if we're in Chicago where we're going, we bring all the principals and the chancellor in the room and we show them all the compelling proof that your school will benefit tremendously in your kids, reduction in violence, greater capacity to learn, on and on, the research. And that research is undeniable. So then we try to get it in the schools. You know, Chicago you know, needs it. Yeah. Chicago. Well, I think it's, it, if it w works the way you it does work, it is, well, it's so yeah. much. I, I'm going to try To be this. able to, because you're such a busy man, I know we have to go, but you're such a busy man, you so, uh, have so much to do during the day that you actually disciplined yourself to actually take those 20 minutes. Because that's a I do hard it twice for, a day. It's hard, okay, well, it's hard for I, people to set aside but that. No, like, no, no. We can learn to do, you're a great example. Listen to me. To yeah. You're twice as productive in half the time. Okay. It's a very yeah. important right. thing. Yeah, okay. Instead of being all over the place, yeah. calm and effective and awake and happy. That's I'm what gonna, you're looking for. I, I'm going to meditate the rest of the show. You got it? I Perfect. Want, <laughs> I Russell's want book, Thank Success you. Through Stillness, is out wherever books are sold. Yeah. Get yourself some because I'm going to try this. I'm going to really, 20 minutes. I can, can find 20 we minutes. We can find 20 minutes out of our day. I can find 20 minutes. Let's start now.